So let's pull together all the factorising work that we've done. The first step we have to take any time we're asked to factorise something, the very first thing we always, always do is we look to see if there is a common factor. So just remember to always look for that first. And in this case, we can see that 3 is in both of those and x squared is in both of those terms. And what you'll then be left with here is x squared and from here 9. And then you recognize immediately that this x squared minus 9 is your difference of two squares. So you know how to factorize it automatically. And if asked to factorize something like this, again, our first step is always to look for a common factor. And here the only common factor is 5. And we've got a bit of a debate here. We can either take out just plain 5 or negative 5. And I'm going to take out negative 5. And I'll tell you why. Let's take out the negative 5. What will be left from here is an x squared. And then from here it will be minus 2x because negative times negative will get you back to the positive. And here it will be negative 3. Now let me just quickly go to the side and say why I wanted to take out the negative 5. If I just took out 5, I'd be left with negative x squared plus 2x plus 3. And the problem with this is it's a trinomial, but it's a trinomial with a negative in front of the x squared. And that just seems to be a whole lot more complicated than what I'm used to, where I've just got plain old x squared. So that's why I prefer to take out a negative 5 as the common factor. Now I've got a trinomial. So I know I'm going to have an x and an x. And I've got to have two things that multiply together to give me negative 3. So one's going to be positive and one's going to be negative. And the only ones that multiply together to give me negative 3 are 1 and negative 3 or negative 1 and 3. And they've got to add up to negative 2. Well, it's 1 plus negative 3 that adds up to negative 2. So I'll get an x plus 1 and an x minus 3. And I factorized fully. So, short story is, always look for a common factor first, and then beyond that, the two types of factorization we've looked at are difference of two squares or factorizing trinomials. If I'm asked to simplify 2x squared plus 4x over x squared minus 4x minus 12, I'm again going to use factorization, so I need to look at factorizing the top and factorizing the bottom. First, always look for a common factor, and I can see at the top there's a common factor of 2x, which will leave me with an x plus 2. At the bottom, there is no common factor, and all I have is a trinomial, so I need to find two numbers that multiply together to give me negative 12, so one will be positive, one negative, and they've got to add up to negative 4. So let's go and write down all of those. It could be 1 together with negative 12, or negative 1 with 12, or 2 with negative 6, or negative 2 with 6, or 3 with negative 4, or negative 3 with 4. Which of these add up to negative 4? Well, it's 2 plus minus 6 that gets me to negative 4. So I have at the bottom, I don't need an equal sign, at the bottom I'll have x plus 2 x minus 6. And now I've got everything multiplied together, so that can cancel with that, and I'll be left with 2x over x minus 6.